We are so close to the weekend and just when we get rid of that lake snow from this morning, we have a new weather alert right around the corner, but I do want to stress that it's not for tonight. We just have some eyes in the future for the second half of your weekend where a winter storm watch could cause some snowy impacts across central New York. For now, on Triple Doppler, brought to you by RomanoCars.com, area-wide light snow is starting to move in. Really just more of a nuisance snow. This is not going to stack up very quickly. Uh, an Alberta clipper system is moving through, and that's bringing some widespread light snowfall. That means if you are headed out on your Friday night, I would plan for snow no matter where you're going. The most uh, moderate snow for this is still off to the west. This will eventually lift through central New York. It could reduce visibility, cause for some slick spots on the roads as temperatures will hang back below freezing. Also, wind chills tonight will be in the teens for most of the evening. So again, if you're headed out, the winter jacket is a must. It'll be cold. There will be snow around. You will need a few layers as you head out tonight. Snowfall forecast again. These numbers are not very impressive. Anywhere from a coating to an extra inch or two for most of central New York. Some places could be topping out at around three inches of new snowfall on the ground by tomorrow morning. Where the most snow will stack up is as always over our highest terrain over the Tug Hill and maybe in the uh, hills in southern Madison over in southern Oneida County. And I would not be surprised if we maybe got some very brief uh, extra lake moisture in there causing for a few extra inches further north of Syracuse. Timing this out hour by hour for you with the future cast starting at six o'clock that snow moves in and just as quickly by midnight it's already starting to end over the Finger Lake. So this is a pretty small window where we're looking at persistent snowfall and again nothing will be falling particularly hard with this. This is light to at times moderate snow for the rest of the evening. This gradually starts to lift out and Saturday in the future cast looks generally quiet. In fact, temperatures will be mild enough in Syracuse to support more rain or maybe a wintry mix instead of snow, but cloud cover is going to be in control all day Saturday. And with those persistent clouds, we could see some patchy drizzle, just overall damp weather for your Saturday. Nothing falling hard, but enough to warrant at least an extra layer if you're headed out to keep you dry. And by the time we get to Saturday afternoon, temperatures start to to fall just enough to support snow again. But again, the main window that we are watching for important weather impacts is Sunday. Sunday morning, widespread light snow starts to move in from the southwest. Everybody gets into some widespread snowfall by Sunday afternoon. Here's the difference. Mild air is starting to work in from the west. It could reach into central New York by the afternoon, changing the snow over to a wintry mix and lowering our accumulation numbers. But up to the north, that cold air stays in place and we could get some lake enhancement. So the biggest impacts will be to the north of Syracuse. Doesn't mean we're in the clear in Syracuse. We will still be dealing with some wintry weather on Sunday and Sunday afternoon all the way into Monday morning. But where it could really cause some issues are our northern counties where snow could be heavy at times and it will eventually accumulate to significant levels by early Monday morning. So just to recap, your weekend in Syracuse is fairly mild. Temperatures above normal in the upper 30s. Drizzly Saturday start Starting off with some snow moving to a mix by Sunday afternoon. On Monday, we turn sharply colder again. Highs are back into the 20s and with a northwesterly wind, lake effect snow is back in the forecast for central New York. So just prep for some tough travel on Sunday and through Monday morning. By Tuesday, we start to quiet down. Lake snow gradually tapers off. Temperatures rebound into the 30s. We stay seasonally cool by the end of the week with on and off lake snow. A few flurries and quiet for Friday with highs in the 20s.